Yes. In planning the Unity trip, we were really intentional in terms of what our goal was, what our purpose was, what was the reason for um, taking the group of students that we intentionally um, encouraged to go. So it all started when we noticed that the leadership within the cultural clubs were, let's say, there was a lot of conflict between each other and then also within themselves. So uh, we started questioning, like, what, you know, what can we do to kind of build unity? And this is a conversation that um, was even started last semester. Um, we have here quite a few women hanging right. And what we're going to do is, uh, yeah, we're going to go up the back way. Okay, so let's talk about Thomas Jefferson and the 600 slaves. Some of the very first children born in the White House were black. I didn't know that till it was actually on, when President Obama was uh, president, that was on the website. It's amazing the history we do not know of ourselves. So the intention was like, what can, where can we go, what can we do, so that students understand um, what unity truly is, what leaders truly are, how to lead, um, and provide some, some, I guess, context and in a way to kind of interrupt what they know or have been taught. Harry Truman once said, the only thing new is the history you did not know of. So let's, let's get back to, um, let's talk about uh, Woodrow Wilson. And Wilt, um, when Woodrow Wilson was president, he was running for the presidency, and he, he told black people, I will give you new rights. And when I read that, I said, well, if they actually lived up to the rights they already had, things have been okay. I think there were the larger responses or group changes that helped move the country as a whole. And so I did that intentionally, or we as a team did that intentionally, um, to make sure that we showed you that as individuals you have a responsibility. As individuals you have the ability to change the paradigm of where we are, but also who we are, but more importantly where we wish to be. And so as much as we are in our individual context thinks that the decisions that we make every day and how we do it and who we interact with has no power and input, I hope today you saw for yourself that one person's decision had the, the ability to change everything. You know, but it also forced students to really look within themselves, which I'm always a huge proponent as of, um, because if you don't know yourself, how can you know somebody else? How you lead, how you interact, the disposition you walk into a room with, how you engage with people, the words you say, recognizing that you have the ability to either divide people or bring people together. You either have the ability to, to build a bridge or build a wall as people. And so as much as it was all about us as a unit, as a group, I intentionally did not say let's all walk together, let's stay together all day, let's stay at the hip so that we experience everything. I wanted you to go out on your own and find what motivated you. Find what resonated deep with you out of all these different experiences, whether it was the music, whether it was the history, whether it was the bodies, whether it was that casket with that boy in it. What moved you today? Because if there was nothing in almost six floors of your legacies and your history that moved you today, then that says a lot. Two, three. Two.